So Sean O'Malley thinks Conor McGregor looks slow and that he would beat him easily. Chael Sonnen thinks that Conor is still faking an injury. Oh yeah, and Conor McGregor also got arrested and got charged and is banned off the road for dangerous driving. These are the most important stories in the Conor McGregor news cycle this week. Or is there something more, something that's been hidden from us, something that they don't want us to see, something that he might have said online and that actually triggers the mainstream elites. We jump over here, we see that Conor McGregor comes out and he says that it's despicable. This is ever present nowadays. I would implement some deportation effort, I tell you that now, guaranteed. Danger, question mark out. So he's talking about mass deportations for illegal migrants that are extremely dangerous. Sounds like common sense but most people get triggered by that and try to suppress it and that is exactly what we're seeing. We also have Connor tweeting in support of Ryan Casey the partner of Ashling Murphy the young girl who lost her life to an illegal migrant last year and there's a new story that comes along with that that's extremely pernicious and we'll get into that in a second before we do if you could hit subscribe I'd appreciate that as you know the channel is demonetized and suppressed when we talk about important issues like this stuff that needs to be heard and that's why it's getting promoted by myself they keep on coming after us and suppressing it so if you could share it out like the video that helps i'd appreciate it cheers so connor was talking over here in relation to this tweet here where there was another man who had this happened to him in valencia the second in 30 hours and as you know we had this story over in ireland last year as well it becomes commonplace and that's what the media want you to understand and just accept but we don't and we're gonna stand up and we're not gonna stop talking about it. We had this guy Joseph Polanyi jailed for life for the <laughs> of two men in Ireland. The two boys were part of the LGBTQ community. We haven't seen the LGBTQ community come out and condemn this guy and the fact that he was an illegal migrant. But what they do is they scroll online and they look for people like me to go after and you get called all the names under the sun. But again, this story wasn't uncommon. It was fresh in the mind of Conor McGregor. So when he saw the story over here of the policeman on the hunt for a migrant who the man he decided to repost it and tell the world what it is it's despicable and it's ever present nowadays in these multicultural european communities i would implement some deportation effort i tell you that now guaranteed any sort of danger these people aren't getting vetted for any sort of danger but if there was they'd be out the best way to implement these background checks to make sure if any of these are danger is just to stop it cut it off at the root none of these people should be allowed into the country legal or non-legals all should be turned away no more room thank you very much so connor went after that i thought that was important to cover we also have connor over here tweeting in support as i said of ryan casey saying that we should stand up and it was in the aftermath of the ryan casey story where the boyfriend of ashling murphy launches legal action against bbc for defamation and i am going to read the victim impact statement here because i think it is important so the story goes that the bbc had interviewed a reporter and a legal migrant who's the mayor of dublin at the time hazel chew or something like that so you have these two progressive nut jobs they're over on the BBC show they're talking about Ryan Casey's victim impact statement and she actually comes out and says that it's very important that we shut this type of speech down that we are the arbiters of truth and opinion we are not journalists we are not the media so we get to decide what the people should be told Ryan Casey obviously like Manny Wood took offense to this and now is suing the BBC and Connor is standing up and falling in behind Ryan Casey and you love to see it so I mean the fundamentals are basic right the media with the help of the government have fundamentally become public publishers of opinions so they're not an actual viable news outlet so like are we surprised that the media aided by the government and the people in power that control the narrative have taken it upon themselves to decide for you the public what might be upsetting or what might be agitating for you so they decide that for you and they decide to shut it down and exclude you from ever actually hearing that side of the story is it too much to ask for unfiltered information that's that's basic question right or am i crazy thinking that we don't need political activists like Kitty holland and hazel chu controlling the narrative and essentially the future of our country am i crazy to think that Last week we had three beautiful young kids that lost their lives to another member of the cultural enrichment experiment. It doesn't matter whether they're illegal or legal, they're incapable of acclimation. Can we just all accept that? These absolute despotic communist lunatics who control the narrative, control the media, control education, control the police, control the government, have demonized the indigenous people of Britain, Ireland and a lot more countries across Europe. And they have emboldened our new neighbours to the point where they can take the lives of our young children with impunity and to add insult to injury these new neighbors these culture enrichment multicultural experiments can walk past national broadcasters with machetes in their hand and guess what it is reported that the natives 
are the problem. You know that democratic right that we all have to protest? Well, that only applies if it's Black Lives Matter, climate change, or free Palestine. How do we know this? Well, if you decide to protest for Irish, British, white kids, you get your door kicked in and you get arrested. That's what happens, and we've seen it happen in the last 24 hours. I want to read the victim impact statement from Ryan Casey because I think it's important and I think that he's been shut down enough and I think people deserve to hear what he has to say about the loss of his beautiful life partner. Before sentencing, Ryan made an emotional victim impact statement to the court outlining his love for Ashling and their plans to build a house, get married and have children. He said it just doesn't make any sense to me how somebody who is just so insignificant, worthless, lowest of the low, burden to society and overall waste of life can completely and permanently destroy so many people's lives by taking the life of a person who is the complete opposite. A life with meaning, a life with dreams, a life with love and compassion, respect, a person who contributed to society in the best ways possible. It just sickens me to my core that someone can come to this country, be fully supported in terms of social housing, social welfare and free medical care for over 10 years. Over 10 years. Never hold down a legitimate job, never once contribute to society in any way, shape or form and can commit such a horrendous evil act of incomprehensible violence on such a beautiful, loving and talented person who in fact worked for the state, educating the next generation and represented everything that is good about Irish society. I feel like this country is no longer the country that Ashling and I grew up in and has officially lost its innocence. When crime of this magnitude can be perpetrated in broad daylight, this country needs to wake up. This time things have got to change. We have to once and for all start putting the safety of not only Irish people but everybody in this country who works hard, pays taxes and raises families and overall contributes to society First, we don't want to see another family in this country go through what we have to go through and are continuing to go through. These aspects of Ryan's victim impact statement were criticised by the BBC Northern Ireland programme The View last November. Of course they were, because they are filled with truth. That's why they're condemned, that's why they're suppressed, and these absolute scumbags are acting with impunity. This story will be memory hold and buried unless we have an amplified voice like Conor McGregor speaking out for Ashling Murphy, for Ryan Casey and for the Irish people. I think it's beyond important that Conor is sticking to his guns with this subject. I think it's beyond important to keep bringing it up and keep talking about it, especially in light of what is happening across the UK and Ireland in the last couple of days. And I'm not going to be frightened anymore to say that your experiment has failed. Multiculturalism isn't working. And when someone like Brian Casey says it, you think that you're going to have the power to suppress him and shut it down and you're going to get away with it? Absolutely not. That's never going to happen. Not as long as I'm allowed to speak on this platform or that's not going to happen as long as Connor has the platform that he has. So as I said, let's amplify Connor's message. Let's get this video out there, share it out there and hopefully Hopefully enough people can be awakened and they can understand and they can know that they're not on their own. These opinions that you hold behind closed doors where you're absolutely terrified to go outside because how culturally enriched it is. Don't be in fear. There's so many of us that feel the exact same way. We need to stick together on this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit like, subscribe and share if any of it made sense. Cheers.